Welcome to Andrew's Alcove. Today, I want to show you how I edit my audio podcasts. And here we are. The program I use to edit my audio for my podcast is Audacity. It's a easy to use, bare bones, free program. I did pre-record a track here, so we can give a listen to that. This is some test audio to show how I edit my podcasts. Now you do hear in the background, there's quite a bit of hissing noise. I did play some white noise behind me so that we can experience the noise reduction option. With noise reduction, I usually put it at the beginning, sometimes at the end. If there's a lot of noise in the background, I'll put it at the end because I find even though it does reduce the noise, once we do some of the other functions, it will bring that noise back up and I find it a cleaner job if you do it at the end. So the first step we're gonna do is compressor. We wanna highlight the entire track. So to highlight the entire track, you can either left click and drag across, highlight it that way, or you can double click on the track. Go up to the effect tab and go down to compressor. Now you can see there's lots of options in here that you can play with. Starting out, I'll just leave everything as it is and click on OK. The next thing I like to do is bring the bass and the treble up a bit. So there is a filter curve EQ option. And in there, under manage, factory presets, you'll see bass boost. So I click on that. My voice does carry some bass, so I do drop that down a little bit from the factory preset of nine. And click OK. Back into effect. Back down to filter curve EQ. Back down to manage factory presets, and I do the trouble boost. Now, the trouble boost I usually leave at nine and click OK. Now, I'll give it a play, and you can hear the differences so far. This is some test audio to show how I edit my podcasts. So now we're going to get rid of that background hiss. So what you do is you highlight a section. You go to effect, go down to noise reduction and click on get noise profile from step one. So I want to click on that. And now you need to highlight the entire file or the entire section you want to do the noise reduction on. Go back to effect, back to noise reduction again, and you can see this part here is now not grayed out. And I usually leave those the same as well, but you can tweak them if you like to. And click OK. And now you can hear that that background noise is gone. This is some test audio to show how I edit my podcasts. Then the last step I do is to normalize. So I go down, click on normalize. This defaults to negative one, I believe. I go to negative two, click on OK, and that brings it down to a good level. And we'll listen to the final product. This is some test audio to show how I edit my podcast. So once again, the original audio this is some test audio to show how I edit my podcasts. And the edit audio. This is some test audio to show how I edit my podcasts. And then when you're done with that, you can go through and take out bits you don't want. So you highlight, select the area you want to remove, you can just hit your delete button and that will subtract that part. If there is spots where you want to leave the same timing, but get rid of the sound, you can highlight a spot, go to generate and silence. It'll give you the spot that you selected and click okay. That will remove that piece. Or if you want to leave some breathing room between two statements, you can just click on one spot, go to generate, Silence, 
decide how much time you want to put the silence in. About five seconds, click OK, and that'll give you a five second gap of silence. We're not gonna do that with this clip, but it is an option you can do. When you're all done, you can export it as an MP3, wave, etc. So export, I usually export as MP3 when I'm uploading for a podcast. If I'm gonna be editing more later, I usually export as a wave. And then once you click on that, it'll bring you up a place to save the file and then you have your podcast complete. And there you go. An introduction to audio editing using Audacity. You can get much deeper into this, but this is a good launching point to start the practice. If you like this video, like it. If you wanna watch more, hit subscribe, check out my other videos, and we'll see you next time.